Let us now look at a few examples to see whether they form an AP or not, determining whether given data forms an arithmetic progression. The fare of the bus is rupees 20 for the first one kilometer. Okay, so when you get down or actually get into a bus, the moment you get into a bus, you have to pay rupees 20 and rupees 12 for each additional kilometer. So when you are at zero, okay, the moment you get into the bus, you have to pay 20. When you reach one kilometer, you have to pay 12 more for every kilometer. So when you reach one kilometer, you pay 32. Thereafter, again, when you cross from one to two kilometer, you pay 12 more. So you pay 44. Then as you reach three, four, and five kilometers and so on, every time you pay 12 rupees more for per kilometer, so it becomes 56, it becomes 68, it becomes 80. How? I keep on adding 12 every time. Right? The question is whether this set of number forms an progression. Okay? Now, in an arithmetic progression, what is the rule? The rule is that the difference between any two given number okay has to be common in this case what we notice is that that for the first kilometer we pay 20 but after that every additional kilometer costs us 12 rupees more right or in other words the difference is common therefore this would form an arithmetic progression had it been that it said that you know for the first five kilometers you pay a 12 rupees per kilometer and after 5 kilometers you pay 10 rupees a kilometer. Then what would have happened? Then for 6th and 7th kilometer the price would have been 90. We would have added only 10 here. Again 10 here and 100. Now this would not be an arithmetic progression for the simple reason that in an arithmetic progression the difference is always. Note the word in capital always. It is always common. It is not that it remains common for a certain set of numbers, then it changes and again becomes common. Right? Continuing with this, let's look at one more example. The amount of money in the account every year when rupees 20,000 is deposited at compound interest at 5% per annum. Now, note the word compound interest over here. Right? What does this mean? This means that in the first year, I give 20,000 rupees to the bank. The bank gives me interest at the rate of 5% on 20,000 and after one year the amount becomes 21,000. In the second year again I get 5% but you know what this 5% is not on 20,000 in case of compound interest it is on 21,000. So I would actually get 1050 and my balance will become 22,050 rupees. Right? So the difference here was between 2 and 1 was 1000. Between 3 and 2 is 1050. Since the difference is not common, this is not an arithmetic progression. I hope this aspect would be clear to you now.